let's go to Ava in Richmond, Virginia. What's up, Ava? Hi, how are you? I am ec- most excellent. How are you? I am good. Well, I think I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. So you're not good. It's okay to say it. What's up? Um. So my question is, um, as you know, the holidays, you're dealing with families, in-laws, and um, we had a trip with my in-laws, and... Um, and I've been with my uh, husband for, uh, we're going to be 18 years in February. No, 19 years in February. Ooh, and congratulations. So we've been together Ava. forever. Thank you. Thank you. You have kids? Um, he's my, yes, we have two kids. And I mean, we've been through so much together. Mm-hmm. And um, you're about to I say he's I've your, with him. you're about to say he's your what? He's my high school sweetheart. Oh, um, gross. I met him in, in high school. Gross. Yeah, it's, I'm sorry, but it's, it is what it is. I no. met him in high school. That's love. And, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and um, so I fell in love with him and all this stuff because he's he's a really good, I think he's a good person. But, um, you know, throughout our relationship, we've sort of had issues with uh, my mother-in-law is not really nice woman. Um, and I was really, um, I was when I first started, I would say a very nice, I, uh, in my culture, you know, and I think in a lot of cultures, but, um, they're very big on respecting elders. Mm -hmm. Like it's a very, like, it's, it's very, like, it's very big. What's your culture? And, um. I'm Ethiopian. Okay. Um, Excellent. And so it's very big in, in that in that aspect. And so when I met his mom, she would just be the meanest, evilest person in the world. And, you know, I come... Give me an example. Um, an example uh, is... Um, I came home and I was uh, living with her. Um, I came home from finding out that... Um, I'm adopted, by the way. So okay. having a family is very big for me. And my, um, I came home, but that I found out that I was, um, I was already four months pregnant. I knew that I was happy, but I was having issues. And I came home and I lived with her and she stood there and she speaks a different language from me. Mm-hmm. But um, she stood there in front of my husband and said, you know, you killed the baby, right? And oh. I could understand at that time because I've been with him about two years, so I could understand Spanish. Mm-hmm. Um, so, oh, honey, I'm so sorry. No, I mean that's that's like the nice, nicer thing that she did. No, that's, but yeah, um, not great. I, it would be times where I was fluctuating with my weight and depression, and you know, um, of uh, and and all these things, and so. Um, she would just say like, oh, you're too fat for my son. Or she would say like, um, just a lot of mean things. Just, and my husband saw it. Like he, it where, wasn't where like is he, he in all this? He just didn't say anything. He said, that's just my mom and she'll stop. Or Sister you Ava, to dude, stop. he needs to step up, man. Oh, so he's definitely, you know, he's, um, a coward. He was the yeah. 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 So no, dude. He's he's, he like a, the fir- he's a coward. He's man. the first boy. He's the first boy. She's. Um, hey, listen. I could had- care less. I'm the first boy in my house. Yeah. Well, his father is not in his life, so I feel like. Listen, me, if my mom said that did. to my to my wife, mm-hmm. <laughs> it would. I but mean, I wasn't his wife at that time. So it doesn't. You were, you were about to be the mom of his baby. Yeah. But he allowed it. That's, and, and, and he's continued to allow it? Hmm? And he's continued to allow it? Oh, yeah. But, you know, over time, I sort of, what he wanted is for me to stand up to her. And no, so that was a little no! bit. No, That's his job. <laughs> it's his mom. I know. So that was a little bit, um, that was the most difficult because in my culture, you're not even supposed to, like, come to an, a, like someone that's older than you in that aspect. And so I continue to sort of put my head but hold on, down. Hold on, hold on. There's a cultural aspect, hundred percent. You, you honor 
you honor um, elders to the end of time. You get yeah. on, you get onto the bottom of the ocean on that ship. I get that. Yeah. There's also something you're not admitting to yourself, and that is your husband is leaving you out to dry. And oh yeah. I, I would t- I would tell him true. that if he was on the phone. I wish he was on the phone because I, I don't like talking oh, about people when they're in the other here. room. But he's in the room. I can get him for you. He's, but, um, he yeah. has got to say, yeah. Mom, we are not coming to your house anymore because of how you talk to my <laughs> wife, the mother of my children. Period. Yeah. Conversation ends. Yeah. I wish that was that because um, it just kept rolling and more things happened and then we'd get over it. I wouldn't talk to her and I would stand up for myself and he's like, good job. You're standing up for yourself. And, and you know, me, like I said, I'm adopted. I, I was in so many years of my life where I was not protected by anyone and I didn't need anyone to protect me, but I felt sort of, yes, you um, did. We all do. We all do. I do. I, I, we all do. We all do. We all do. And you still do. Yeah, we do. I still do, but, um, okay. So so what, so what happened? Did y'all have a big blow up? Did you go to war? So my mother-in-law, we wanted her to be with us because me and my husband, we when we traveled, we're like, hey, we have an extra room. You can stay in that room. You have your own bed, your kitchen, everything. Awesome. And she was fine. And then like when her other kids start coming, she sort of like tends to take things out on me mm-hmm. because I'm easy to take out on. You know, I'm not related to her. So it's easy to be mean to me. And so she would just say certain things like, oh, you know, like, I love to cook. I love to, like, I just, you know, I want to, I'm very, um, I think one of the things my husband maybe doesn't like about me is that I'm very, I think about others a little too much and maybe I don't think about myself. Um, But I I was like, you know. That's probably because he loves you and cares about you and watches you you know, drive yourself yeah. into the ground, trying to be a peacekeeper, right? All right, yeah. go, go to it, go yeah. to it, go to it. We're getting up against the clock, so, go to it. So, okay. So what happened is um, we had a big blow up um, whenever I said something and I um, I disrespected my husband in front of her. What'd you say? Um, and then I said, I said, <laughs> it's really bad. I said, I'm the unlucky dumbass being with you. And um, that sounds like Kelly says that to me all the time. <laughs> well, his mother said something in regards of I didn't want to curse, but um, I always did. But she sort of said, um, you know, you're she said, I don't want this B-I-T-C-H to talk about my son or treat my son like this. Now, mind you, I I take I think me personally out of anyone that they know, they know my husband, their, their brother, or their son is treated better than their own husband. They know that. Like <laughs> right, I, I believe right, right, right. everyone in the family knows he is taking care of. But th- th- this is somebody who is, yes. Was what you said mean? Yes. Yeah, fine. That's somebody who is looking for any tiny, tiny little crack. Yes. Yes. To just yes. blow right through it to knock the whole building down. Yes. So she. So so the whole thing is that. Like I would say so this: if my wife said that day, about me, in front of uh-huh. my my dad, my mom, uh-huh. they would laugh uh-huh. and they would say, <laughs> "Yep." Nah. Okay. I just want I want to give you some other context. My parents are yeah. great people. My parents love me dearly, but yeah. they also trust my wife implicitly. Yeah. Like a daughter, um, not like some weird, like tumor that's been added onto our family. Okay. So that's how she treats me. How can I, how can so, I help? So my thing is the whole blow up happened. It got physical because she pushed me. Oh, I pushed her back. Damn, Gina. Y'all were in it. Okay. We were, it was, I've never touched, like it was really bad. Okay. Anyways, my issue is throughout the trip, my husband and me discussed it and I said, Hey, you have to protect me. You have to put a pause on your mom. Even the sisters were telling him, like, be careful with my, like, everybody knew. Mm -hmm. And so my question is, how do I, I told them from now on, I don't want his mom in my life. That's just it. I don't want her in my life. I just don't think I know how to respond when someone. Let me say, let me say, let me say it this way for you. 
Mm-hmm. Your, your mother-in-law has opted out of your life because you owe Ava safety and you owe Ava peace and you owe Ava dignity and respect. And this person, I don't care if she's a stranger, somebody at the bus stop or your mother-in-law has chosen to physically assault you to disrespect you, to take your dignity away from you, to make you feel less than on a regular basis to prop herself up and her place in her firstborn son's life. And so Uh, you're not kicking her out of nothing. Yeah, She has chosen to not be a part of your life because she doesn't treat you like a human being. Full stop. So I don't want you walking around with the burden of guilt and don't let your husband put that on. Well, we can't go because you won't be around mama. No. Your mom has So cho- what do I do then? Like for Dude, my son and my daughter. And like my, the great Jay-Z says, you brush your shoulders off and go on to the next. But she's like, no. what do I do if it's family events? Sweet. If she chooses to, if, if the rest of the family chooses to have her there, then they are choosing to not have you there. And that's fine. So that gonna, means don't go. If she goes there, no. don't go there. Why would you go okay, there? Don't, I don't know to ex- anymore. <laughs> to experience violence, to experience disrespect. And listen, you're teaching your kids. Yeah, that's the sad part. Your <laughs> husband so is, is teaching your kids. Hey, when somebody attacks your mother or my wife, we just keep going back for more. We just keep going back for more. I don't say nothing. That's her problem. So I should just, like, for the relationship, how do I stay out of the relationship between... Because I've never been, I've always said, hey, Juan, you know, um, uh, uh, sorry, hey, Don, can you please contact your mom? Can you please um, you don't need nothing. call your mom and we'll, see how she's doing? Nope. He is. If, no he, if he chooses to have a relationship with her, great. That's wonderful. Um, unless it's not, <laughs> right? I mean, if he forgets her birthday, that's a choice he's made. Okay. You're not his mommy. Yeah, so stop, stop. Pushing that. That's, I, yeah. I mean, here ultimately, it's a it's a non confrontational. I'm not fighting anybody. Okay. I'm gonna tell my husband. I'm gonna tell my wife. Yeah. Hey, I just want. I, I'm. I am. I am drawing boundaries. You have told me that this is my fight for my whole life. You've never stepped up to help me out. So I've. I'm choosing how I'm ending this fight. I will not okay. go to events if if with with your mother there. She okay. is she has chosen to um, not be around me, and so she's not going to be around my kids. I okay. can't tell you what to do. You're a grown man. If you want to go to family get-togethers and whatever, you're welcome to do that. My kids, um, I don't feel safe with them there. So and, I can say it's it's not crossing the line by saying I feel like I'm hurting someone. You know, I don't I don't want to hurt anyone. I just. This is a little girl who's still wondering why her mom and dad sent her away. Yeah. Yeah. Ava, you are loved. So it's okay then to say to, and it's not mean if I tell my husband, hey, you know, I, you can go, but my kids are going to, I don't feel safe with my kids being with her. Absolutely. I mean, Even if my kids want to go? Your job, my kids want to eat donuts 24-7, 365. My job as a parent is, that's not safe, right? It's not yeah. good. Their insides will melt. It's like, it's, 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 that's my job as a parent. My son wants yeah, to go ride right. four-wheelers. Wherever. He's not going to do that. He's, you know what I mean? Like, it's not safe. And so it's my job. And so, yes, there is a hundred percent every reason to believe mm-hmm. that the animosity and hatred that that woman has displayed to the wife of her son mm-hmm. will She'll be transferred to your language. kids. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, yes. No question about it. I also think it's very, very fair. And it might not be okay. the season, but it is very fair. Okay. To tell your husband that you yeah. are heartbroken that he never stood up for you. Heartbroken. She's not talking to him either, because she. Well, because she's a child. Um, <laughs> she's a she's a child. 
She is a spoiled yeah. brat child. Period. Yeah, she's not talking to him because uh, she said uh, he didn't even stand up for me. He said to her, "You're making my life difficult," and she said, "Oh my god!" <laughs> he told oh her my that, gosh. and when he told her that, he got so upset and said, "How can you go against me? You know, I am your mother. How can you go against me?" And he told her, "I'm not going against you. The kids told me you put your hands." on my wife and then and then also hurt the little there was a little girl involved that she hurt and so I was defending and so even to yesterday I asked I said are you upset at me you know because we're having huge issues now and yeah. he's like no I'm not I'm not upset at you because you defended yourself from my mother I knew my mother was going to do that to you I I knew and I walked away knowing that and to me I guess with that that breaks response, my heart that breaks my heart for him man yeah, I wish he just sort of, I yeah. wish he could just say to me, like, I'm wrong. Like, all I want from my husband is just to say, I have not defended you yeah. all this time and protected you as what it should have been my duty. Have I you believe, said, hey, like, have you said that to him? Because it's in there now. You've not said that out loud before, have you? I said it to him so many times okay. and it has been deaf ears. And so maybe. Cool. He's I left you. Know. He's left you to defend yourself. Great. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. And I want you to um, – this is going to be something that you practice, but I want you to say that with peace in your heart. I want you to say that with joy and optimism. Me and the kids, we're going to a water park. We're going to okay. stay in a hotel and we're going to have pizza and movies and just be ridiculous for 48 hours. That's what we're going to do. You are, I would love, love, love for you to join us. But if you yeah. want to go there, that's great. Okay. It's disgusting and disrespectful for a in-law to put themselves between their child and their child's spouse. Yeah. It's, it's, the, it's one of the lowest forms of immaturity because that should be a relationship that parents should be championing and cheering for and lifting up. So yeah. glad that you, of all people, picked my son and I wouldn't have picked you for him. I think you're weird. I think you're not the right culture. I think you're not the right whatever, yeah. religion. Whatever. But my son picked you, and I raised a good guy. I trust him. And so he picked you. We pick you. We're all in. That's how yeah. that should be. And it should be every single thing I can do to lift you guys up. Yeah. Not okay. everything I can do to get between you two. I need to remember I'm the mom here. No, dude. No, it's wrong. It's yeah. wrong. It's wrong, Ava. And you're not the crazy one. For two decades, you have not been the crazy one. <laughs> can, can, is it? Is it? Um, is it bad, or is it wrong that I, throughout this whole time, you know, I, I thought about her. Like I actually thought about like how is she doing? No, you're a Whenever compassionate. Whenever she left the hotel, like St listen, I listen, felt listen. So sad for her. Stop thinking that your feelings are bad or wrong. They just are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What you what you choose to meditate on? Yeah. Like if you go down a roll like a rabbit hole, like oh, I just want the worst for her. I would say that's no. that's not right. You know what I mean? No, or if that's you, the opposite. That's I, I know, I know. No, I'm just, I'm just saying. More for her. Or if you choose to start sending her emails from a secret account just to harass her, that's your actions aren't right. Okay, your <laughs> thoughts and actions, you can judge those. Your feelings, they just come, man. They come, and yeah. you have never had permission to feel. Yeah. And so, yeah, dude. You, if you, if you, that's the kind of person you are. Oh gosh, I wish we had more hearts like yours. That somebody hurt you, and on their way out, you wonder. I hope they're okay. Hope they're hope, hope they're okay. That's that's pouring heaping coals on the head of your enemy, man. Like, because you you literally hope. No, it's not bad. It's not good. It's probably not wise to then call and reach out and try to repair that relationship as though you did something wrong because you didn't. Yeah, you popped off about off about her son. Who cares? It's not worth physical violence. It's not worth hurting a little kid. You're good. You're good. And maybe for the first time, this is a season. How about this? I want you to get a journal. And I want you to start writing Ava letters about how you feel, what you're worth, what you wish had happened, and more importantly, what you need going forward. 
And these can be some awkward, hard conversation with your husband, but you need him not to leave you out on an island, emotionally or physically. Y'all are in this thing together. Thanks for trusting us. Thanks for giving me your call. 